The MA in the history of warfare is an ideal choice for students because really, King's College London is the natural home for military history. It was founded by the Duke of Wellington. It's got the War Studies Department, which since the 1960s has been leading the world in the interdisciplinary study of warfare. Uh, I was particularly attracted to King's because Andrew Lambert is based here and they have such a good reputation. You know, I've, I've very much enjoyed um, Brian Holden Reed as a lecturer. I think it's an excellent balance he provides between information transfer, which is always done in quite a engaging and active way, and also the more student-led side to class, which again really brings out some aspects of an issue which you may not have thought of yourself. And especially as it's a small group, there's only seven of us it really does allow for you to be quite active and really feel part of the module. Um, I certainly think from an educational point of view uh, it's a fantastic environment and the caliber of your fellow students makes for a dynamic environment. So every student that comes onto the program will be taught not just by staff within war studies but from the Department of History, from Defence Studies, from the Institute of Contemporary History and also from the Little Heart Centre for Military Archives. Now this is a real feature of King's College London which isn't matched anywhere else. We've got our own archive for military history and this is an internationally recognised archive which grows by something like 30 named collections uh, a year and it's indicative of the wealth of resources that are available to students here and it's indicative also of our dedication to the subject. I looked at the modules for the course and the wide range of choice that was available. It was just really interesting. So the first thing students will notice when they arrive here with an interest in warfare or military history, however, de however defined, is that they're not just tolerated, they're really valued. Oh, I've had a career break of 12 years uh, since the birth of my third child. It's done wonders for my confidence on that level because when you've been out of work for a while, these things that you think will never change, so you suddenly lose confidence in your ability compared to everybody else. Uh, because you have no comparison, you're not doing that kind of thing anymore, you feel out of touch. And so I think it's been a real confidence boost in terms of where I sit compared to other people and my own abilities in terms of um, either expressing myself or researching material. Uh, and. So it's been, it's been really useful for that if I want to return to the workplace. The, the range of courses that War Studies offers is, is unmatched anywhere. So the opportunity to tailor a programme to an individual's interests is, is, is unmatched. My dissertation is on the Rhodesian Bush War and I'm effectively doing a cost-benefit analysis of whether um, Rhodesian cross-border actions gained a battlefield advantage proportional to the international disdain and resultant sanctions that they also garnered. I think I'd either like to continue studying, you know, I've really enjoyed the history aspects and I could see myself continuing in military history. There are lots of history departments that offer the odd course or two in military history related subjects or even a named programme, but there's nowhere which is steeped in military history like King's College London and there's nowhere and there's no program like the history of warfare which has the range of expertise and the and just the sheer number of experts in in subjects that range from ancient history right the way to to contemporary warfare.